So good morning. Start feet hip width, knees relaxed, hips in line, shoulders back and down, crown up towards the sky, chin parallel to the ground, one hand on the chest, one just below the ribs, breathing in and out through the nose, aiming the in-breath to the lower hand. And we'll bring the arms down, we'll start the neck exercises. So inhale, exhale, slowly turn the head to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. And we'll tilt the head towards the shoulder. You're keeping the shoulders down and relaxed. So remember, nothing should hurt, so don't take it too far. Come back to the center. And we'll tilt to the other side and just hold and breathe. Come back to center. So again, each side. So over to the left, just a gentle tilt. Back to center. Over to the right. And center. Now chin to chest as we exhale. Inhale, bring the head up. Exhale, carefully drop the head back. Inhale, back to center. Again. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, back to center. And we're raising the shoulders up towards the ears. Squeeze. Then reach the fingertips down to the ground. So again, reaching the shoulders high. And then reach the arms down. So one more. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And lengthen the arms. And then we'll go through the moves. One each way. So turn to the left. Back to the center. Turn to the right. And center. Tilt to the left and center, tilt to the right, and back, chin to chest, bring the head up, drop the head back, and back to center, and we'll, we'll bring the hands to the chest, then inhale, bring the arms up, palms together, exhale, hands back to the chest, again, inhale, look up if it feels okay, Exhale, follow the hands down. And we're inhaling, arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down. And inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale down. Bring the arms in front of the body. Bring them up and around. Swap the arms over. Coming up and around. So carry on in your own time. Nice and relaxed. Just within a comfortable range of motion. So bring the arms down, we're going to work on swinging the right leg backwards and forwards. The belly button squeezed in, finding the focus points. 
gradually lifting the leg higher. So if you can keep the balance, try with the hands on the hips. And then onto the other side, left leg forwards and back. But obviously you're helping with the balance, you're keeping the arms out. And we'll come back onto the left foot and we're going to swing that right leg side to side. A little bit more concentration, maybe a little bit more wobbling. And then onto the left leg. And bring the leg down. Easy forward bend. So holding on to the elbows, deep bend in the knees, body on the thighs, drop the head down. Inhale, exhale, try and straighten the legs. Again, deep bend in the knees, inhale, exhale, straighten. One more, inhale, and exhale. And we'll bend the knees, rolling on up through the spine. All right, standing pose, high lunge. Left leg forward, right leg back. So remember, both sets of toes are facing forwards. The back heel is up. Hips and shoulders in line. Good bend in that front knee. Try and straighten the back leg. You can just stay here, or we're going to add a high twist. So we'll inhale, exhale, twist, exhale, sorry, exhale, twist, inhale, exhale, twist, inhale, exhale, twist, and inhale, exhale, twist, inhale back, bring the arms down, come out carefully, especially if you're sinking in the sand. And we'll do the other side. Right leg forward, left leg back. So remember to keep those feet on the train tracks, hip distance parallel. So we get balance first. If you want to, we inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, two more, exhale, twist, inhale, back, and exhale, inhale, back to center, carefully coming on up, alright, so we'll do a balance pose, warrior three, standing on the right leg, bring the left one up, so three each side, we'll inhale, exhale forward, so the first one let's just concentrate on bringing the body parallel to the ground, back straight. Coming back to standing, other side, standing on the left, inhale, exhale forwards. And back up. So second time we'll take it a little bit further. So standing on the right. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the body forwards. Aiming to get that back flat wherever you think that is. And then work on lifting the leg. Toes pointing down. Hips in line. And coming on up, other side, standing on the left, inhale, exhale forwards, so we get steady with the body parallel, 
and then carefully lifting the leg and back up so one more each side if you can I'm just trying to find a steady spot in the sand so standing on the right inhale exhale forwards keep breathing get steady lift the back leg and if you want to take it further bring the arms forwards maybe even bring the palms together make sure you're still breathing and coming up last one Standing on the left. Inhale. Exhale forwards. And breathe. Lift the back leg. And then if you want to, bring in the arms carefully forwards. And lengthen. Fingertips to the heel. And come on up. So standing pose, warrior one, and take the right leg forward, now the left leg is back with the heel down and that back foot is slightly angled towards the front foot. So notice the difference between the warrior one and the high lunge, it's all in that back leg. So we've still got the shoulders above the hips and a good front bend in the front knee. Now we can keep the hands to the chest if we want to or bring the arms up either side of the head but if you feel like the arms are drifting forwards because the shoulders are too tight or it just doesn't feel good in the back then either have the hands apart or keep the hands to the chest. Remember nothing should hurt. So I'll come on out and do the other side. Left leg forward, right leg back. So aiming to get that back foot in line with the front foot. So we're not paralleling any, anymore, but it's one foot behind the other. So we need to twist the hips to face the hips forwards. Remember, do not strain the back. If you do need to take that back foot a little bit further out, that's fine. And come on out now. So we'll do one more each side, and we might take a little bit further. So right foot forward, left foot behind, left heel is down. So you can either come into the basic warrior one with the arms up, or keep the hands to the chest, or we're going to bring the arms behind and interlace the fingers, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Now I'm not going to add the back bend because I'm not on very stable ground, but you can if you want to. But if you just want to come forwards into Humble Warrior, we'll inhale and exhale, bring the body onto the thigh and carefully lift the arm. And coming on up, and we'll do the other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. So turning the hips to face towards that front knee. So we come into the basic warrior one first. So remember, you can add the back bend if you want to with the arms behind. I'm choosing not to because I don't want to end up in the sand. 
And when you come forwards, inhale, exhale, bring the body down onto the thigh and lifting the arms up. Carefully coming on up. And we'll do a little bit more balance working on the lower joints. We're going to swap each side. So, first working on that left hip. Belly button squeezed in, using your focus points, and then the other way. Bring the arms out if you need to. On to that right hip. And the other way. Down to the knees. Standing on the right. And then bring the left leg up, rotating into the knee joints. And the other way. On to that right knee. Remember, keep the foot relaxed. So go one way and then the other. Finally, onto the ankles. So if you can, hold the knee or keep the leg low. It's whichever is best for you today. I want some good movement in the ankle joint. So rotating both ways. And then we'll swap. So bring that right leg up, maybe holding the knee and then rotating into the ankle. And the other way. So we'll do one more standing pose. We'll do another high lunge so you can see from the side the difference between the warrior one and the high lunge. So we'll have the left leg forward, right leg back. As you see, that right heel is up. Both sets of toes facing forwards. Still got a good bend in that front knee, shoulders above the hips. So if you're steady here, we're going to add a twist. We'll bring the right arm up, twist towards that left leg, and then take the left arm behind, maybe aiming for the right thigh. And very carefully coming on up. So right leg forward, left leg back on those train tracks. Aiming to straighten the back leg, but keeping that heel lifted. Either staying here or adding the twist. So left arm up, twist at the waist, take the arm behind. Hold and breathe. Carefully coming back up. And we will finish with the good posture. And the breathing. Shoulders back and down. Crown to the sky. Chin parallel to the ground. One hand on the chest. One just below the ribs. Breathing in and out through the nose, feeling grateful I didn't fall on my butt in the wet sand. I don't know why I keep doing these videos as the tide's just gone out. Anyway, now we're breathing.
and we'll bring the arms down and we are all done.